Hello. Hi, Glenn. Hi. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, what's happening? Um, from what I hear, the, the um, we're getting married. <laughs> hear what? From what I hear, you know, um, what's the name of those those two people getting married? I was all over the, the news. Can't hear you. I said, from what I hear, some people are getting married. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's uh, part of the theater. Yeah. Don't, don't for a minute believe that those two fell in love and decided to get married. No, no. Those, those two have been fighting for ten years. <laughs> you know what? Um, uh, Dana brought up something, saying that um, that that guy, what's his name, Prince uh, William? Yeah. He said that he was the only one that uh, received like a, a common uh, education, and that girl he married was like the first one who was not like uh, who was basically like a commoner. Yeah. I was wondering what all well, that Well, not, not an ordinary commoner. No, not all. <laughs> Nobody with the name Middleton <laughs> yeah, middle is ton. an ordinary commoner. Yeah. Nobody with Kate for a first name. Kathleen. Yeah. That's, that's about as uh, women as you can get. <laughs> I, I never I didn't personally I never I didn't even see the wedding I never I didn't turn on the TV I should have though but I'm I, sure I sat in my bed and I don't have a TV <laughs> I, I was thinking maybe there was some type of messages they were relaying but I was wondering like why would they make it a big deal this wedding well, I I don't think he's going to survive. Yeah. I think they're going to have a helicopter crash. And I think Prince Harry is more likely to be king. Uh, After all, he comes from Harry from Hurry. Harry King. And he's... Uh, demonstrated publicly by wearing the armband that he's a bit of an Istan, otherwise known in Germany as Nazi. When you said the, like, um, the, the word hurry, um, he else comes from hurry, from Syria. That That's linked to the word hurricane. And yeah. Glenn, I um, mean, Dana just told me, too, uh, that supposedly, like, uh, the biggest tornado. The Order? biggest what? Tornado. Nato. Tornado. Tornado, I think, in uh, Kansas. Yeah, tornado, yeah. yes. Yeah, tornado, yeah. In uh, Alabama. Yeah, I think. And Mississippi. Yeah. That may be linked to... Uh, of course, a tornado is just a hurricane on land. Yeah. Just like the lakes flushing, cleansing is is like a, a tsunami on oh, land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm you know in my mind like I'm it's just I sense something like when I see you know Mother's Day comes in May, and then you have the Day of the Dead. On May fifth, it's all, it's all telling me. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot on, of I'm gonna try to change phones. The other one I can hear better. Okay, hang on here. Try me again. Yeah, you hear me better, or is it? Yeah, yeah, I hear you better on that one. So, I don't know. I see in my mind like a lot of things seem to land on that next week. 
out of... Well, you're in the that period in time eh, where you have uh, all the way to Whit Monday, and then you have these uh, holy days, nine days that follow. So mm-hmm. everything up to then is uh, quite possible to basically have anything happen. Anything at all. Yeah, just the other day. And they shut down Jennifer's computer so that she would watch the wedding. (laughs) What a way to coerce somebody, right? Yeah, without a computer, she had nothing else. She said, hey, you never know, it might start today. Harry just comes comes back from a trip that was extended up in the Arctic. Mm-hmm. Uh, William and Kate are to visit Canada either in May or June, I forget now. But they live uh, in Wales, and it's on an island. They travel back and forth by helicopter. That's his profession. Uh, You know, the easiest thing to use to kill somebody is uh, something that's up in the air. When it shuts down, it shuts down, and you only go in one direction. They can do it on land. The key word for all of this, going back to uh, the crucifixion, is linked to uh, traveler and the um, theater. The key word in French, it's called en route. In English, you pronounce it en route, en route or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On, on, it on it is uh, the route. It's the journey. Yeah. And craft, of course, up to now was the word they used. 2,000 years with the word craft, well, that gave you a sense of control. You direct. The uh, next journey is on a raft. You, you have no control. You go with the flow. Huck fin. And then you go aft or backwards to the back, and that's to Brazil, into the southern hemisphere. Then you go look at your feet, F-T, in raft, craft, ast. F-T is the abbreviation for feet. You look down at your feet, that's Antarctica. And then below your feet on the bottom are the three symbols of where you've been recently. You've been a needle, and you start with a heel. You were genetically engineered by Noah, and you have an arch after your heel. Then you have ten directions, the ten lost tribes of Israel. Ten directions, which leads us to where we are now. So that's the journey that human beings take from the beginning as eels. Well, we're at the raft. By... 2062, we're going aft. That's Southern Hemisphere. 
spend a thousand years there, go to your feet, Antarctica. Relive your history. Remember that the control mechanism is all underfoot. So there we are. (laughs) Sit and wait for them to do things. In Canada, you now have very possibly the most impossible election where the third party has been given the boost. So the third party may supplant the second party, the one that's in opposition now, the liberals, who themselves have been in power for 75% of the time since Confederation. So we're going back. We're going down the leader is Clayton. Clayton, I, the genetic engineer, there is no L. Son is 2,000 pounds. This is century, second decade of the millennium, 2000. Jenny has been given an exclusion order. I've been given a seclusion order. Nobody allowed to come. Well, yeah, I guess you got to keep fighting. <laughs> you can't just like like me. Never, never give up. Yeah. can't do it by fighting. This thing? You do it by surviving. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. And like, doing so let... everything you can mm. every day to get the story out. Yeah, like, uh, like that's what I mean. I don't mean, like, physically have a gun or something. I no. mean, like, just... This Fighting thing, like, is what they want you to do because yeah. they got all the arms on their side. Yeah, exactly. But surviving, explaining to people what has happened, using symbolism. I got a raft. Now, leading the raft is a rooster. He's got ten hens that are meat birds with him on the top. And he's got three meat birds that have decided to live under the raft with the goat. And the sheep. And they've been joined by eight brown laying hens. And I've locked the uh, remaining six white laying hens in the barn so that the fox doesn't get them right away. But between me, the sheep, the goats, the rooster, the chickens, and the eggs, we can survive. At least the summer. 
And then the flood comes. They announced this morning that the floods in Manitoba are the highest level in 150 years. How they know that it was higher 150 years ago, I don't know. But probably in all recorded time. And there is no cataclysmic event that has occurred yet. Now, can you imagine the highest flood ever topping the levees, the dikes, and then have dams break? How much water they can expect to get? At a time when the tornadoes are running around the country with winds of 50 to 100 miles an hour, where we haven't even touched what is considered to be hurricane strength, five. Everything we've seen so far is penny ante. But we take it one day at a time and say to creation, I can't hold back the wind, I can't hold back the water, I can't hold back the fire. Creation, you can give the order to stop. You can give us 5,000 more years to try to make sense with people. Right now, their medulla has stopped thinking good and evil, good or bad. It's only safe or not safe. They are all chickens. <laughs> That's why the chickens are up on the raft. They are symbols. Human beings are few and far apart. You've got to keep searching for them, Jerk, no matter what they do. I do. do it every day. Well, you know, I, I come in contact with people, and it's just that um, some people, I think, just they just have to go through certain things, you know. Like I, I guess, like you said, the chickens, like certain things. I guess in their life, they have to. Overcome. I, well, I I I can't get mad because it's not on my time that they're doing. No, it. it's not, it's not happening the way I want it. But it's a waste of energy. Yeah. But um, time is a time thing. Then there are others, you know. Who, They understand. Well, on one side, I have a neighbor whose name is Middle Miss. Middle Miss. The other side, I have a neighbor called Emond. You uh, switch the D and E, you're a demon. <laughs> Across the street, there's a family of Gore, <laughs> Gorels. And the whole area here, the guy who runs the politicians, the plastic surgeon by the name of Snowden, Bruce the Ruse Snowden, 
the royal family allowed a Snowden into their family. He married Princess Margaret. He was a photographer. The only reason he married her was to get inside the castles and take all the pictures and send it out to the commanding officers he deals with. Here, the guy bought the property two doors down and behind us. Whether he bought it or it was willed to him, I don't know, because I never saw it up for sale. But the deed got transferred to his name. Well, he does all these people plastic for? surgery and cleft lip work. In other words, he does the surgery and then does the branding in the mouth of what he did so that people will know whether the person they have in front of them has a camera or a microphone or a speaker or a gill or can stay, in fact, hibernating for six months in a hole in the ground. That's where Saddam Hussein went. Did you speak to these people? Hide in a hole in the ground, just the size of his body. Oh, yeah. I'm a, yeah um, Glenn, do you, you ever spoke to those people, those neighbors you have? Those who? Your neighbors. Uh, I've spoken to all of them, and I've delivered pamphlets to them. All but one person has ignored me completely. Oh, and so you would say you have a, some type of relationship, I guess. With them. Well, they know who I am. They've been te- told, that, you know, the guy Middlemas, young lad, was uh, contracted to do work in plowing for us. Mm-hmm. Somebody told him not to come. Stopped him on the street two or three times and said, weren't you supposed to plow? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Never showed up. Is right next door, and I see him every day. <laughs> Doors across the street live at nine eleven <laughs> on a piece of land shaped in a triangle, which is known as a gore. Particular piece of cloth, triangular yeah, piece true. of land yeah, is a gore. The bay at the bottom of Sault Ste. Marie's locks is called Gore Bay. The guy who made it all possible in Russia is a guy by the name of Gorbachev. His name is Gore Bay. So if you're trying to find the ones who aren't in on it, it's a lot tougher job than finding the ones who are doing it. I don't know. Hang tough. Go with the flow. You'll come out at the end. Side. Right now, like <laughs> I was getting a little nervous. Like this, this week coming up is making me uh, a little edgy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I should just pick up and leave or wait a little longer. Well, I only complaint flu 
deluded Jenny. Not bad enough have they been torturing her from the day of her birth. They have to continue it. this stage of the game. Most needed profession claimed in Canada, the nurse knows something about Alzheimer's. Yet, people can be let into the country on compassionate grounds. People are let in because there's wars in their own country, people are let in simply because they're good uh, pickers of apples. In the the nurse, the director of nursing with a specialty in Alzheimer's and senility is not allowed in. It because she'll point out the senility all around, especially in politics. Or is it because they want me to be a loner? It's a way of torturing you. Seclusion. They're doing it to punish me. Let them kill me and get it over with and let Jennifer come and take over. Care for the animals. Maybe something. Maybe something happened. Where happen we're at. Maybe she could. Maybe something happened or so. Would it be a surprise to you? Keep. I keep uh, uh, telling her that she has to retain hope. She keeps reminding me who these people are. They don't care about anything else but themselves. They're the accumulators. All they want. Because you can't expect anything good to come out of these people. You have to agree. I haven't seen anything worth saving out of these people. Creation has the ability to stop God's cleansing, God's boss, stop anything, or it can stop anything. But it probably will not, because these people haven't shown saving. Fortunate. And always eat snow. Snow is what? Eat snow, you said? Until global warming makes it impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, you know, trying to do go with the flow. I've been, haven't really been making posts. Oh, really? Um, I've been speaking to people. Talk to someone. 
mm-hmm. people from all over the place explaining stuff. But all you can really do is just say something, leave, leave a little bit of information. And yeah, you never know. <laughs> like being on sales, don't mm-hmm. waste time arguing with somebody about buying your product. You just keep knocking on doors, somebody down the street waiting for you to arrive. So you thank them for their time when they're ready, and you move on quickly. The more you see, the more likely you will come across the people just been waiting for you to call. I remember you said, do what you can with what you know. No one could ask anything more. Doing what you can every day. Make a list. Ignore everything but number one. Proceed. Do what you have described as most important. Then tackle number two once you've done number one. Time has come for me to feed these animals. Is there anything in particular that you need clarification on or you must have it all pretty well down pat by now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the uh, rest of it is just detail. Yes, exactly. Big picture is clear. Yes. Detail involves the exact timing. And that's exact something that's location. very hard. That exact timing is very hard. <laughs> you know, it's made like that for a reason. So, yeah, I know in your poem, I, I noticed you, you said America is next. America is what? You said America is next. I heard something like in Indonesia um, there was an earthquake or something. Mm-hmm. And over here in Suffolk County there's a uh, town called Brentwood. It's like the most I think Hispanics in New York State is in this live in this town. There was a house uh, that just exploded. Yeah. That's what the news said. It just exploded out of nowhere, and they don't know. They didn't know why exactly. They're investigating, but nobody lived in the house, and they said nobody got hurt, and there was only minor injury uh, injuries. But the person who owned the house was called this lady. Her last name was Soto, and another person they chose. The media chose to put on was a guy named Cohen who lived across the street. Cracks in the wall from people, you know, they're saying. Uh, well, gas leaks. Uh, they couldn't tell. They didn't conclude it was a gas leak. They they didn't know. They weren't sure what, but. It was, I just thought it was interesting because they chose to put it, because usually that type of stuff would be on you know the local news uh, yeah. network from here, from or, you know from Long Island, but they chose to put it on Channel Seven, uh, Eyewitness News. 
they those people they don't they rarely cover news on Long Island unless it's something. Well, you could understand it if it was a a barn, you know, a silo, mm-hmm. spontaneous combustion from seed the flower. That's Oh really? That happens. Yeah. How does that happen? How does that process? Work? Well, it's and anything that is alive, like mm-hmm. you know, hay. Mm-hmm. You can see it in the winter time. It generates heat, and if there's snow in the pile, it's the first thing that shows up. Is Producing the heat is the digestion, the food stuff. It produces a gas, just like flatulence, body. In a barn, and especially in a silo where it rises, captured. It's uh, just an accident waiting to happen. Spark created by an electrical circuit or something like that. A boom. I never knew something like that could happen. Even just the heat of the combustion itself of the food in there is enough to uh, blow. But a house is is usually uh, gas main. I don't know if radon can blow up uh, without Acetone being present. Oh yeah, that's the, oh, that word radon. Um, I see that same uh, sound in the word tornado. Nado, nado. Yeah. Eight o. Addo. It all comes down to Shakespeare's play. Much ado about nothing. I do. Radon. I do. How do you spell it, do? A D O. Oh, so that's linked to Dow. <laughs> and, uh... yeah. and there was a big thing in Parliament just before they broke up, and the reason they were impeached was a woman by the name of Oda. Oda. Bev Oda. Yeah, what did you mean? Added the word not to an approved request for funding then refused to admit in Parliament that she's the one who had added the word and blamed some flunky in the office for doing it. Then they found out that she had lied. It was her who added it. Why do you think a woman by the name of Oda adds the word not, the government gets impeached. And the sign I've been carrying around for years and is pasted on my gate is, I am not. The, word not. the other is... side of the sign said brain dead. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that post you made. I am not. But I sneeze a lot and they call me snot. <laughs> and yet the government prefers to put the S at the end and call me not. Uh, 
time to feed some hay to these poor animals. Yeah, I they heard may them. not have anything to eat next fall. But. Yeah, I heard them clucking from <laughs> over the, over the yeah. phone. I overheard them. Um, I guess I'll talk to you. Okay. Hopefully, if I'm alive next week. Yeah, well, we should uh, see something happen. Tomorrow's the 1st of May. You know what airline pilots say about that. May Day. May Day. May Day. Yeah, in May, you know, my birthday's in May. Yeah. Actually, Ann Beaker's birthday's in May, too. And How my old mother, are you? Huh? I'll How be 28. Be? Hey? I'll be 28. 28. Yeah. And Ambika? Uh, I think she'll be, I'm not sure, maybe 27, I think. And my mother's birthday's in May, too. <laughs> hey, in French, it's the song sung the most when I went to school. C'est le mois de Marie, c'est le mois le plus beau. Mm -hmm. Month of May is the month of the Virgin Mary. Uh -huh. Thing in French, it is the most beautiful month. Yeah, they do that thing where they um take those red strings on the red ribbons and they twirl it around that stick. Yeah. I guess that's what like a A or something. Pole dancing. Yes. Go-go dances, right? Okay, happy birthday in the month of May. And <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. In, uh, in uh, Manitoba, where they have the highest uh, water in 150 years, today they're expecting 20 millimeters of snow, just mm -hmm. to add to the thaw. So wish them luck. 